Hello again everybody, this is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out our newest piano library, Sunroom Upright Piano. This instrument encapsulates that cozy feeling of being at home, sitting next to a warm window, and just sitting down and playing an old upright piano. The tones of this instrument are rich and full with a warm resonance and that powerful low end that you would expect from an old upright piano, and a really woody quality as well. In addition to deep sampling this instrument in closed stereo, we've also captured a number of different sound effects for you to use, like some different lid opening closing, some different key and pedal noise, and wooden creaks. We've also included a collection of ambient pads, synths, and a huge selection of uniquely sound design custom effects presets, and much more. So let's go ahead and dive in and start checking out all the sounds and features that come within Sunroom Upright Piano. So what you just heard was the Sassanudo up articulation, and we have a few different articulations within this library for you to check out as well, some different sustain types. So right now you heard the Sassanudo up. Now let's go ahead and check out the Sassanudo down. Now let's go ahead and check out the Sostenuto pedal. So if you click this drop down right here, you'll see that you can access all the different articulations. We also have some effects creaks, some different effects key sounds, lid and pedal noises as well. Let's go ahead and check out some of the creaks. And these are really useful, especially if you want to start off a track and have it sound like someone's about to sit down on the chair and just start playing some piano. These are a great way to kind of add a little bit of that realism. So let's go ahead and check out some of the key effects. And then we have some lid effects. And then we have some pedal sounds. And if you want to take any of these sounds and stretch them across the key range, if you see this little icon right here, if you click that and select one of these sounds, now you can take that sound and play it all across the keyboard. So you can get some really low, deep percussion type effects. All right, so now let's go ahead and check out some of the different handcrafted sound design ambiences that come with the library. There's 21 to choose from, and these are all crafted using the source content of the library.
So one of the cool things you can do using the X fade is if you want to combine some of these different articulations, you can combine any of these layers any way that you want. And the way to set it up in the crossfade is to, when you have a layer selected, if you go over here to this X fade, you'll see you have A and B. And this corresponds to this X fade assigned down here. You'll see layer A and layer B. So this is how you assign different sounds to certain layers. So if we want to have just like the a normal sostenuto down, and then we want to combine that with one of the ambiences, then we can go over to this ambience tab, we'll turn this on. I'm going to use this ambience right here. So what I want to do is set this to B because I want to crossfade into it. Let me go ahead and learn this to my mod wheel. And then I'm going to set layer A. I'm going to keep it to none so that way it's always playing. So. So you can hear it's really easy to start getting that cinematic sound when you start combining those ambiences with the piano and being able to fade them in in real time. And another thing you can do, if you go over here to the effects rack, you can add some other effects. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more ambient and turn on some reverb. So I'm going to go ahead and use the cathedral. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the size in the mix. Now let's go ahead and do that again. And then if you want to go to the advanced tab to start playing around with some other features, you can do that as well. So if you click this up here, you'll see that you have some LFO filtering and arpeggiation, as well as some different articulation options. So you can adjust some different controls like the pedal volume. So this sound, if you want to turn that off, you could just disable it or you can adjust the volume. So let me go back here and turn off this reverb so you can hear it. So you can turn it down. So if you want just a little bit of it, or if you just want to turn it off, you can do that. You can also adjust the velocity range as well. So if you want to bring this down to where you're, you know, going from more really soft to like medium velocity. And if you want to turn up the volume a little bit. So you can play really hard but you're only going to get within that velocity range. So it makes it nice, especially if you really want to hone in on a specific dynamic range. If you want that really delicate sound. You can do that really easily within the advanced tab. All right, so before we go ahead and wrap up this walkthrough, I want to take you through some of the custom effects presets that come with the library. There's 20 to choose from, and all of these utilize different features and parameters in different ways to really sort of give you a jumping off point for your next track. So let's go ahead and check some of these out.
All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Sunroom Upright Piano. If you want to learn more about this library or check out any of our other piano libraries that we have on our website, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on future videos like these, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.